Hello, in this mini tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make the player move to where you click. So firstly, I have a simple terrain here made of elongated cubes. These cubes are held in an empty game object container called environment. On apparent game object, let's go to a drop down arrow next to static and select navigation static. Then let's select yes so that the children will also be made navigation static too. Next start let's open a navigation tab. Let's go to window, AI, navigation. Let's hit bake. All walkable areas have now been marked with a blue overlay. Now let's select our character and add a nav mesh Asian component. Let's adjust the radius so that the green cylinder fits nicely onto our character. Also let's increase the speed to about 8 and the stopping distance to about 0.5. Then let's right click, go to create and then C sharp script. Finally let's open this up in Visual Studio for editing. First of all let's add a using Unity Engine.ai statement. Then let's create a lav mesh agent called nav. Then let's go to the start method and retrieve our nav mesh agent component from the game object by using the get component function. In update, if input dot get mouse button down zero, meaning if we detect a left click, let's create a new ray called ray and set it to camera dot main dot screen point to ray, passing in the mouse's current position as an argument. This screen point array function creates a line going from the camera to the mouse's current position. Then let's create a ray cast hit called hit. Next let's type if physics dot ray cast. First of all let's pass in our ray. Next let's type out hit. This will store the information from our ray cast into our hit object. Finally as a distance let's pass in 100. Finally let's set the nav's current destination to hit dot point. Let's save and head back into Unity. The last step is to drag and drop our click move script onto the player. Then, when we hit play, we can see that our player now moves to where we click. That's all for this mini tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next.